what's up you guys good morning today is friday i am so glad thank you um if you guys been following me on instagram you know i've been having my sweet little sugar foot these past couple of days i've been babysitting her and um watching her for my son while he work and um i'm in the kitchen getting me some coffee um so yeah today is my consider off day and i'm going to take you guys along with me today um don't really have a lot lot planned but i have a lot planned um i'm trying to get used to this vlogging thing it seems like you guys kind of like the vlogging and i'm cool with doing that um but some of you guys not really saying if y'all like the vlogging or if y'all like the hauls more or whatever i guess i'm just have to look at my numbers for for the most part, but as so far, y'all like the hauls and everything. But I'm trying to give you guys a little of everything. Um, so yeah, because a lot of y'all don't say nothing. Y'all just glad to see me, and I appreciate the love and support. But yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done in a pity. Um, if you seen my last post, well, the post before last on Instagram, um, I had said that um, I've go I'm going to be um. Doing a little bit of here stuff here and there, um, romantically with my husband. We're celebrating our tip year anniversary. Yay! Black love. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing something for a whole week of just different romantic activities. So I'm going today to get a man up a, a fill in with gel polish um, and a pedicure. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that. And um, we got some more activities. We're gonna do a little shopping. Um, so yeah. So I'm trying to fix me some coffee. I was gonna drink some iced coffee, but uh, um, uh, I don't know. I might just fix me some um, some coffee, coffee. So I don't know. So I see y'all in a bit. Let me fix me some coffee. Get my um. I stuff together to put clothes on my and I'll see y'all in a minute. Right quick, got this cute little, guess it's like a cheetah print cardigan, uh, wool cardigan from Walmart on clearance for $9. A basic little tank. So $1 leggings from Walmart and my true, time and true, um, I think it's leopard print, um, little sandals I got on clearance for $3, I think. But yeah, just something cute and comfy and I'm ready to go. Them big lots. Um, it's right next door to my nail shop, so stop in here right quick to get some. Uh -huh. Oh, my glasses falling up. So, um, Elton's soap. So, I just wanted to show y'all what they got so far for it's Christmas. Yeah, so I ain't gonna be in here too long because my appointment at 10, but it's right next door. So, I just wanted to show you guys. It's so cute. I like this. I think it's a candle holder. I don't know, but. I see you in the show.
for me, mm -hmm. I have a 10 o'clock appointment for a petty and a filling in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you call, she said, Here. I think I'm going to go with this color right here. I don't know, but we shall see. I'm a little upset, so I'll tell you guys about that. Later, so, um, yeah. 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 Right, you guys i am done with my nails i don't know if you guys can see but i kind of did this mulberry color real cute real flawless i give y'all a better look once i get home but yeah we got a story time so i'll tell y'all that in a minute So I'm in here finna get my eyebrow threaded. Um while I'm sitting here waiting, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened at this um at the nail salon. So um I hope you guys can hear me. Um so I get in a pedicure bowl and the water was cold. So I was like, you know, the water is cold. And it wasn't bubbling or nothing like that. And I typically like to soak at least 10 minutes before they start working on my feet. And instead of her storing my water over, she put a dirty towel in my water to try to pull some of the water out. What the hell? I'm like, who raised you? That's nasty. Then she used a mop bucket. Well, it looked like a mop bucket. Like a some kind of bucket to try to dip it out. So, the other lady was like, no, redo this. Because I was like, it's gross. You know what I'm saying? So she redid it and everything. But I was pissed. It kind of messed up my mood. You know, normally when I go get my pedicures and everything, I try to relax. 
and stuff like that. She just messed up my whole mood just being lazy and nasty like that. So that's what made me uh, get my feelings and stuff. Yeah, you know, my hair is doing the most. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna get my eyebrows threaded. All right, quick, that's the way I like to get my brows done. I don't use wax or anything because my face is so sensitive. But yeah, y'all, so far, so my Friday is going good. So yeah. Hope y'all have a great day. I'm also gonna um, take y'all with me. Um, I got some stuff lined up tomorrow to start our celebration, our anniversary celebration. So I'm gonna take you guys along with that. I'm pretty excited about tomorrow because it's something I never done before and it was recommended by a friend. So yeah, oh, I need some wine. Let's go to Burlington, y'all. See if we can find something. Huh? I don't know. Hubby don't like this, though. Yeah, you ain't gonna do that this time. See if we can find something just simple and cute for our little activities throughout the week. So, let's go to Burlington. I don't even supposed to be on this side. That's cute. Look. Hey. I know I'll be looking for clearance stuff. That ain't bad. Got my mama something for Christmas, but I just got her a purse. Her and my grandma. What's up, you guys? I am back home. Um, like I said in my last clip, when he got the nails done or whatever, they looking real dry. I've been washing my hands left and right, but here's the color right here. And I went to Burlington Big Lights. Uh, let me just show you guys the few things that I picked up. 
So yeah, I just got home. But I just ate me a little something because we didn't have time to go get no lunch before my husband went to work. So I just grabbed me some leftover tacos that I had. So I went to Burlington, just picked up this really cute um little um cutting board. It's not a really a cutting board. It's more so like a um how you pronounce it? Um uh, damn. Uh, that bowl, you you put the fruit, the cheese, and the crackers or whatever. Prosciutto, I, God doggy, I just said the other day, but that's what I got it for, and I got it uh, for what this was five not five ninety nine. So I got that from Burlington. <coughs> Excuse me, husband did find him some inexpensive jeans he could throw on. Um, he be mad about going to Burlington. Cause they don't never have nothing for the big guys. Um, then he found him a nice, um, trying to do this with one hand, a nice little, um, athletic shirt. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a Adidas, um, shirt and it's bright yellow. He got a pair of shoes to match that. Got that. And what he pay for it? $9.99. So he got that from Burlington. <clears throat> Excuse them bags right now. I'm trying to hurry up so I can get me a shower. Excuse how I'm looking. I took my little uh, cardigan off. Everything, I'm looking real ratchet right now. But, you know, it's all good. This is real time. Um, What I got from um, Big Lots? Big Lots, I got this really nice um flatware set. And it kind of reminds me of the Magnolia Home. Is it Heart and Hand? Is it? I don't know, but it's that black, flat, um, metal, gunmetal looking. I just thought this was really nice. Um, how much was this? I think this was $28. And it's supposed to have a lifetime warranty on it. Yeah, this was $28. I remember. But I did use a 10 off of 40 coupon. So I got that because I thought that was really, really nice. Like, it's really, really nice. Let me show y'all again. Oh, that's pretty and it has um 20 um pieces dishwasher safe um lifetime warranty show you the back right here so yeah i thought that was really nice because i always wanted that heart and hand is that heart and hand or magnolia is that the same thing i don't know i don't know but I, but they only come with one setting for 20 bucks and i'm like eh. and i love to have at least six um pieces to a setting if i'm saying that right but yeah uh what else I, oh i got something else from burlington uh, i'm not gonna take out the bag because it's a gift for someone they might be watching my videos something i got for a family member um got <clears throat> some dr teals um i got the shit all backwards um, Dr. Teal's uh, Epsom salt. It was on sale for five dollars, and it's in the cannabis um, hemp seed oil scent. Got the that, and I got the um, de detoxifying and energizing body wash. I always um, get the uh, <clears throat> eucalyptus and lavender scent. One, so I said I was gonna try that. Now we just picked up some of this mucinix coal. It was on clearance for six seventy five. Originally it's twelve fifty. You know the winter is coming up, and you know I ain't got time to be getting sick. And I know my husband; he can't afford to get sick because he has some um some um lung issues. He deal with a lot of um asthmatic issues and stuff. That's why he's constantly in the hospital, so he can't. He can't get sick like that. And also at Big Lots, um, if you was a member, you got free masks. And it's like, what, five masks in there. It was originally $3, but you get it free if you was a, um, a member. So, yeah, that's all I picked up today. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that little bit. Let me get my butt in the shower and relax. I'll talk to y'all later.
Y'all, I went to Waterburger and got a water chicken. Look at this, it looks so good. It was supposed to have been fried, but they gave me grill. Go figure. So we finally made it to our destination. Here's a quick look outfit of the day. It's a real cute and comfortable. Made it to our destination. Huh? Going right away? Well, cutting the grass. I don't know if they got ducks or nothing. Yeah. That bait outfit of the day. Huh? Oh. You're your feet. Feel good out here.
the training. She's done the big fireball. <laughs>
Ray, you rock my ass in that one. <laughs> We sit here waiting on my food. Talk about how folks be lying about their status in life and just lying to be lying. Like, we don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? We're everyday, hardworking people. We don't give a shit about your status. As long as you're not trying to use us and trying to bring us down and, you know, be with the unnecessary drama and bullshit. We don't give a damn about your status. You know what I'm saying? Right, baby. I just can't stand a compulsive liar, like a person who always got to lie, lie about what they got, what car they driving, where they live. Like it ain't no damn reason for that shit. Like I don't care. I'm not one of the type of friends to care about how you live. As long as you are not trying to manipulate, use us, and just bring us down in life i don't care we have some amazing people in our life okay thank you i got my like i was saying we got some amazing people in our life that are very financially stable um and they act like everyday normal people because that's who they are they don't try to boast they don't try to brag but it'd be the certain ones that we know for a fact they're not financially up there <laughs> as they want to pretend to be they love to brag and boast and it's just not cute it's really not cute at all so yeah we can just talk about that well, yeah we sitting here waiting on my food i'm so hungry i really enjoyed that boat um ride experience it was something i have never done before and i just really enjoyed myself we met some amazing women on that boat some real grown folks, you know what I'm saying? They even asked us out to hang with them after the boat ride, but they were staying at the Hilton Hotel. And uh, we was going to do it, but I had to think about tomorrow work, you know, and everything for the hubby and all, because we just took this day off to enjoy ourselves for this. And this is our pre- anniversary turn up because we're going to be doing something romantically you know pretty, pretty much for a whole week so except tomorrow uh, we don't have anything planned for real tomorrow but there's no telling what we might do at home we might do breakfast in bed or whatever I ain't no telling so yeah just want to jump on here real quick before I eat we at what we at some um, Mexican restaurant De Pablo yeah, so they good. Got my mango margarita. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to eat. I'm gonna show y'all what I got though. I got me a chicken burrito. I'll show y'all my food when it get here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got action. 
We got an extra. Fuck the police. No, let me put Sam in. Nobody but the hell with them, for real. Black Lives Matter. Going home, get a shower, and get in the bed. I told you guys tomorrow. Oh, I done made it home. <laughs> I'm thinking about makeup. Oh, no. Me and the hubby sitting here talking how uh, when we was on the boat, it was this group, you know, this family, and they was doing the Cupid Shuffle. And you know, other people and stuff was doing the Cupid Shuffle, and um. Uh, I was just laughing. Now, what I'm about to say, don't take offense to it, but it's just funny as hell. There was like a large, you know what I'm saying, family, you know, and it was probably a good eight of them. And all I kept thinking was, Lord, I don't want to die like this. You, We was on the top level, right? So, I know the people downstairs could hear the... You know the doom, doom, doom. You know, so oh gosh, me being a first time, I was nervous as hell. I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous as hell, and I'm like, I don't want to die like this. Oh, I said, why fat ass is gonna be floating in the fucking water? <laughs> Cause they gonna break the boat. Oh my goodness, all I can think about was Lord, I just don't want to die like this. I thought it was hell. It was hard too. They were like, boom, two. Well, I had to turn it out. Woo, woo. I was like, oh, jeez. I'm finna fucking die in the war. I'm finna die in the middle of the lake. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Like, oh my goodness. That's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> Y'all done had. How many cups of wine I had? Three? Chill. I think I had like two or three. <laughs> and then I just left the restaurant. And I had a big mango margarita. So I'm feeling pretty good. But I was just thinking about that. Like, I don't want to die like that. Like, I know we all got our day. But if I had to have a choice, I don't, I don't want to die. Um, drown. I don't, I don't want to drown it out. I don't. I don't. Oh, goodness. It's just, that, that shit was funny as hell then. I mean, it was funny as hell. It's funny as hell now, but not then. Because I'm just sitting at the table and I'm like, I wish this sad ass shit that. the water too you just see the waves going on i'm like oh i don't want to die like this i promise you <laughs> y'all i seriously cannot stop laughing because if you could have been there i just was uh, mm -mm -mm. let me go and get in the shower because Oh, oh, what a day, what a day. But I had fun. I enjoyed myself. I made, met some really cool women. Oh, goodness. Some women that was living their best life. Oh, what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. Because I ain't getting back on here tonight. I need to get my shower and go to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. Peace. Good morning, sunshine. Happy Monday. I don't never know which way to damn look. And the camera, this is the camera. But I'm so used to looking to the right. I'm on my way to the doctor. Of course, I can't vlog or anything in there. But I just wanted to stop in there. But I just wanted to stop in with you guys. Um, thank you. Um because I didn't vlog anything any um yesterday because I was so tired. I slept most of the day and stuff. So I just wanted to jump on here and um just chat with you guys while I'm on my way to, to the doctor. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Why your lip long? <laughs> Y'all, we so tired. I don't have any makeup on. I ain't even do my hair for real. Just took a shower. Shampoo my hair. Just threw it up in a messy bun. So, yeah. yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let me get off here because I really don't have much to say today besides make sure you go and vote. to be allowed in here, which is good. No worries. So I guess I'll check out with you guys in a minute. Oh my man, dirty for my makeup, I'll wash it. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I cannot breathe for shit in these masks. I know I need to be up here, but I just can't breathe in. I be short of breath. My damn. Anywho. Thank you guys for a great report. Well, I'm in the back. I don't have much to say, but just wanted to sit here for a minute. All right, you guys, so I just left the doctor and I'm now in Dollar Tree. Don't need nothing, but just came here to see what they got. I'm over here looking at the um the books. I love coming in here looking for like inexpensive, cute um tablecloth um table books. I don't know what I said, tablecloth. So yeah, so far I found this laundry hints and tips. I love the color, the aesthetic of it, and I found a cookbook. So I'll show y'all when I get home. Chip going to get me a buggy. Huh. I'm wearing my shoe. I gotta look at the other one. My purse too big. Hmm. I wanna look at this one. Seasonal desserts. What? Look. What you gonna find? Oh, <gasps> what? The Muhammad Ali? Cool. Shit, that's all him a good book. So we just looking through these books to see if we can find something. I'll talk to you guys later. Come in here and get us a little grown folks juice. Then we're gonna go home. Go ahead and get him. Ah! All 
right, you guys. So I'm back home. So I'm gonna show you these cookbooks that um, uh, what these books that I got. I showed you this in the store. I got the laundry hints and tips. I love that color, that aesthetic. Got that. I got the um. Uh, <coughs> Talk with your mouth full cookbook. It's the Food Network um, edition. And then I got the um, New Italian Kitchen cookbook. Right here, Ethan Stowell's. So, yeah. Those are all the books that I got in the Muhammad Ali. And this is something I picked up right here from Dollar Tree, too. The husband picked up. It's the Little Juice Box. I think it has cocktail recipes. Um, no, no, it don't. It has different drinks in here for detox, energized health remedies, and immune boost boosters. So, Chip picked that up last week from the Dollar Tree. And since I'm standing here, this is stuff we also picked up from Dollar Tree. This is just a uh, full back, back splash. We got three of those. I don't know why I bought these. But I bought them. I do some with it. And here's another cookbook that I picked up from Dollar Tree like last week. It's called Cook It Raw. Don't know what it's about, but I love the aesthetic of it. So that's mainly what I look for when I try to look for books. So yeah, I got those. So y'all, I'm gonna really end the vlog right here. And um I'm gonna go ahead and edit it and everything. Give me some lunch. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later thanks for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and what else i want to say don't forget to vote go vote and yeah share this video like it comment i said all that good stuff and uh i'm gonna talk to y'all later because i'm hungry debate through with the food <laughs> we finna eat